So I believe it was quite easy to, to realize that the best way to load this data in Python is a Python dictionary. So this looks just like a Python dictionary. And once you load it in, in the Python dictionary, then it becomes very easy to access a value for a key. So how do we load this into a Python dictionary? Well, let me open a command shell here. For now, I'm just going to demonstrate something quick in an interactive Python shell. But first, you may need to close this JSON file because this is slowing down uh, Atom. Don't save the changes. I didn't do any change anyway. So Python 3, that will open my Python 3.6.1. But anyway, even if you have Python 2, this program will work the same. So how do we load JSON into a Python dictionary? Well, for that, we need to use the JSON standard library. With a standard library, it means that you don't need to install JSON. You just need to go ahead and import it. Once you do that, there is a nice json.load method there. And this load method, this expects, actually, I can show it like this, help json.load. So this gets this argument here, which is a file-like object that contains a JSON document. Um, so we're talking about the file object in Python, and we need to create that file. Uh, the way to do that is simple. So JSON again dot load. The way we create a file object is by using the open method. You know that already. And then you pass the path to the file. Now, since my terminal here is pointing to this folder, I just need to pass the file name. I don't need to pass any full path in there. So like that, you can either pass the R method, which is uh, stands for read mode, or you can just leave it like that. And uh, the read mode is by default. Make sure to close brackets two times. So we have two opening brackets here, two closing brackets in here. And that's all. Now, what is data? Data is a dictionary. So it's a Python dictionary. And you can print it out. Yeah, it's quite a lot of data. So that took a while, uh, but normally you will not have to print out the entire dictionary. Uh, what you could check is to access a word and a key from the dictionary. Uh, let's say the key rain, you need to uh, use bracket, uh, sorry, quotes for the key. And uh, this is what you get. So you get the value for the word rain, for the key rain. So now that you know how this works, more or less, try to come up with a function that gets as input a key and then returns the value for that particular key. And also try to incorporate the loading of the JSON file and also print out the output. So if you have issues with that, in the next video I'll show you how we do that. See you there.